Hello to everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, I show you one more uh, custom ROM for Android TV Box Mini M8S2, uh, manufactured in 2016, but still very uh, functional. Uh, so, uh, link with uh, that uh, ATV Experience custom ROM um, you can find below in the description of this video. So. Uh, I have, uh, as I say, Mini M8S2 uh, with uh, um, Mark S905X uh, uh, and um, I have a motherboard uh, P220 so this is a version with 2GB uh, uh, RAM and 8GB uh, ROM memory so uh, I will select uh, this and then in download okay I will open final version and uh, this is a version for my TV box uh, it's same version for 1 gigabyte uh, or 2 gigabyte uh, RAM memory uh, this is a, a motherboard ma for motherboard P two hundred twenty, and um, uh, I will download that. And uh, regarding uh, tools, uh, I'm going to use uh, Amlogic uh, burning tools. I usually, uh, just to select tools, and uh, I'm I'm. I'm going to download a logic USB burning tool uh, 216 uh, version 216. So, uh, if you don't, if you're not sure what version you have, uh, what Android box you have, you can uh, you can check it, you can check this uh, with uh, CPU Z program. Uh, so, I'm logic board uh, P220 Android version uh, 6 so it's Marshmallow uh, Android version and I'm going to flash uh, new custom ROM uh, ATV experience for flashing uh, ATV experience you need a USB cable male to male as you can see one plug in PC and uh, you need one toothpick so before you do anything you need to turn off your device or mini box unplug all connection if you have SD card in T box you need to remove two so if you have uh, SD card remove that and when you do that you need to the second place you need to run USB burning tool. I already installed that. As you can see, version. Just a second, please. As you can see, version 206. So, for uh, flashing, you also must prepare firmware for that. Uh, I download that and uh, I'm going to when you run USB burning tool next thing you must find a place for flashing uh, with toothpick as you can see on my box this is this place and uh, uh, you must uh, press with toothpick that place and plug USB cable 
press hold and plug USB cable. So I will try that. Press and plug USB. Okay, first time I'm not success. I'm going second time to do that. Press and plug USB. As you can see, I was success in second time. So, as you can see, connection success. Now you must uh, find your um, image. So, I'm going to find that. This is it. S nine zero five X two gigabytes at the experience two FF. I select this. Image checking. Please be patient. So now you need to press start. And download in progress. So it's very important to use that version of Unlogic. If you use some other versions, you may experience issues with uh, flashing some uh, bugs or errors such as uh, uh, temperature sensors or something like that so please use recommended USB burning tool it should be take about uh, three minutes for flashing but let's check it so after 4 and 44 minutes uh, burning successfully after that you need to uh, unplug USB and then you can click stop and exit program after that you can plug power on and connection with TV or monitor. So this is a screen for ATV experience Android TV box. So first screen or first booting of system could take about five, maybe ten minutes. But we will see that. So this is first screen after booting system. So uh, I will try remote. Remote works fine, but I prefer to use uh, wireless mouse. So I will try that. Okay, it works. But I experience I have experience with first bug on this ROM, and that's it. Uh, uh, this is a, I cannot select anything with mouse. It's not good. I must use remote. Okay, now connecting to my wireless connection. Connection successful. Checking for update, it's a good thing, but let's see, is there any update? Okay, now I must uh, log in my Google account. 
Okay. As you can see, I still cannot um, select any of this, so my wireless mouse is totally unusable. Um, I must uh, use remote. So, okay, some option works with uh, uh, mouse, but Okay, this is first screen for ATV Experience ROM. Okay, my mouse is total crazy with that. Okay, I will try with uh, one wired mouse just to check his problem with mouse or with software. Okay, to check about phone, about Android box, ROM name, ATV experience, people behind the project, version 7.1.2, so it's Nougat, version Nougat, Android Nougat. Android security patch October 2018 and build ATV experience. No, mouse is still doesn't work. I will try with remote. Okay, remote works, but um, for me it's disappointed that I cannot use mouse. So after installing ATV Experience ROM, I made some minor changes. I installed uh, some applications such as uh, uh, Chrome, uh, Firefox uh, browser, um, MX Player, Quick Reboot uh, Root Explorer uh, using Aptoid TV. So I, I recommend to use that application instead of um, uh, Google Play Store because Google Play Store is not uh, a full version, it's a light, some um, basic version and uh, you cannot uh, here you cannot find some useful application. So best choice is Aptoid TV. Um, so I also installed some uh, uh, application uh, for streaming movies. Um, if you uh, click on the YouTube, YouTube, you uh, you will see that uh, version also basic uh, version. But um, um, for that Android TV box, uh, it sounds uh, pretty uh, enough. Uh, and um, it's suitable uh, to use remote uh, controller uh, instead of uh, mouse wired or Wi-Fi mouse. Um, uh, so I noticed uh, one uh, bug with uh, that uh, uh, as I uh, already uh, see that during styling ATV experience ROM uh, uh, and, uh, and if you want to uh, turn on some uh, point pointer uh, with pointer on some section um, you cannot uh, uh, do anything with that um, so I must uh, use remote controller um, and um, uh, I hope it uh, will be fixed in uh, further builds of that ROM so uh, this ROM also is rooted uh, if you um, uh, enter in setting and the root uh, section you will uh, find 
uh, that um, two option to turn on or to turn off so definitely this rom is pre-rooted um, uh, you can um, check that that if you uh, run a root explorer uh, you will find the section with the root uh, folders and uh, you will uh, if you have knowledge you can make some uh, changes in system so uh, also uh, I uh, installed uh, uh, reboot uh, uh, quick reboot application and if you turn recovery uh, start in recovery mode uh, you will find that uh, ROM is, uh, is in this ROM is included custom recovery tower up version 3.2.1 so uh, it's very good so mm, basically this ROM is uh, pretty good because uh, also uh, it is um, it has uh, uh, Android 7 uh, or Android Nougat it's not uh, too old uh, Android and uh, that's it guys if you want you can uh, click on like or subscribe to my channel and see you again bye bye